we're going to talk about programming a sensor to individual trailers. This particular uh, display will actually hold up to four different trailers. So you, if you have enough sensors to put on four different trailers, you can actually then scroll through which trailer you want to put, the, uh, put on this display, which one you want to be active, and um, you can then read those along with your towing vehicle. So in order to do that, um, and we get this question quite often, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you that it will actually give you an indicator in the middle of the screen for trailer number one, two, three, or four. And when you're initially programming it, if you only have one trailer, be sure when you go into that trailer mode um, and we go over to the trailer that it says number one for each one that you're programming. So you're not hopping from one to two to three to four and then you'll have four different tires on four different trailers instead of having them on one trailer the way you want it to be viewed on the screen. So in order to do that we have to go back into learn ID mode. So we're going to hold down again the set button until it beeps, release it. We're going to use the plus button five times. You'll see where it says learn ID. I'm going to enter that mode by hitting the set button. And now I'll show you what I mean uh, as far as these trailers go. If I, instead of um, going around with the plus and minus button to the different tires, I can jump directly to the trailer. And if I just hit the, the go button, you'll see that number one appears right in the middle of the screen and the first tire on the trailer, which is on the outer dual, and it's the first axle on the passenger side, is now blinking. So I could code that right now, which I will do. You just, again, hit the set button. You see all the Fs are flashing. Hit the go button with a sensor. As soon as it codes, hit set, and that will save it. So now I've got my first trailer tire on there. Now, the, the thing I wanted to mention is, if you keep hitting the go button, you'll see that now it's on trailer two. So you gotta be careful not to hit that go button if you're only programming one trailer. If I hit go again, it goes to trailer three, I hit go again it goes to trailer four and then again back to one and this is where I want to be so keep that in mind watch make sure that you have number one on the trailer as you're programming that every time you program so instead of hitting go you're going to be hitting the plus button to go through the different tires and the different tire positions and then programming be careful of hitting that go button you only hit the go button when you hit set when you hit set You'll then see the, all the Fs blinking, and then you hit go, and it'll grab that code and hit set, and then you're good to go. But notice that number one is still on the screen, and that's what you want. If you only have one trailer, you want to make sure you put it on the same trailer back end with all the tires, and uh, don't hit the go button, because if you do, like this, you'll be shifting from trailer to trailer to trailer instead of staying on the number one position for that particular trailer. So that's just some good advice when you're trying to code this.